Assalamu alaikum students. Hope you are all doing well. My name is Sanef Tekar and I am your English teacher. Today we are going to discuss about because and so. Let's start our discussion with because. We use because to express a reason. Let's look at the example. He is the best student because he studies a lot. Basically, we use because to join the two sentences. If we join the sentences in, in the sequence that result come first and reason come after, so then we use because. He is the best student. This is our result that he is the best student. But why he is the best student? Because the, he studies a lot. So the reason of being the, he the best student is that he studies a lot. So that's why we use because to join these sentences. Let's look at the other examples as well. Example number one. I didn't go to class because I was sick. I was sick is the reason. And because he was sick, so what he does, then he didn't go to school. So this is the result. So that's why we use because between these two sentences. Similarly, we arrived early today is the result of because we have a meeting at 7 p.m. and this is the result. Similarly, she got presents because it was her birthday. What is the result of her birthday? That she got the present. And why she got the present? Because it was her birthday. So that's why we wrote first the result and then we write the because and then we write reason. Let's move to the so. We use so to express a result. He studies a lot, so he is the best result. Previously, we are writing result before reason, but here we are writing the reason before result. Look at the previous example. He is the best student, which is the result, and we use because, and he studies a lot, and this is the reason. Here, we are saying it reverse that. He studies a lot, this is a reason, and because he studies a lot, he is the best student, so he is the best student, so that's why we use so in it. Look at the other examples as well. Jane didn't like the movie, so she turned off the TV. Jane doesn't like the video, so as a result, she turns off the TV. So Jane didn't like the movie, is the reason, and she turned off the TV. As the result, so that's why we use so between these two lines. Now comes to the second example. Yesterday was a holiday, so the school was closed. Yesterday was a holiday is the reason of why the school is being closed. So that's why we use so to join these sentences. Come to the third example. I lost my key, so I took a taxi. I took a taxi right why i took the taxi because i lost my key and i lost my keys is the reason and i took a taxi is the result so that's why we use so to join these two sentences in conclusion i'm going to play a video for you so it can enhance your deep learning experience also worksheet is also provided so go through it and try to solve it. In the last, I have given you assignment that you have to do the exercise number 1 and 2 from the page number 16 from your course book and exercise from the page number 11 from the workbook. Try to solve this. And now let's enjoy video. late is the result. She missed her train is the reason. As we learned, 
Reasons come after because. Because is the correct word here. Amy was late because she missed her train. I don't like to travel. I haven't been to many countries. I don't like to travel, so I haven't been to many countries. I didn't go to the class. I was sick. I didn't go to the class because I was sick. I was in a hurry. I took a taxi. I was in a hurry, so I took a taxi. I'm 